CataractCoach.com. I will exchange with an open posterior capsule. How to perform this lens exchange after a YAG capsulotomy is already done. Now, if you listen to our podcast, like smart ophthalmologists do, yesterday's podcast featured Dr. Nicole Fram. And we talked about challenging cases. Now, she's a cataract refractive anterior segment surgeon who does a lot of these crazy reoperation cases here in Los Angeles. And this is a patient who you can see has a Looks like a trifocal, probably an Alcon panoptics lens in the bag. Already had a YAG capsulotomy. And here you can see she's going to dissect open the capsule bag carefully. Ooh, now this is smart. This is genius, actually. Placing a capsule hook. Why? To help give you counter-traction as you dissect the eye well from the capsule bag. Now, there's also even, look at that, top right corner of your screen, Looks like a 50 or 60 silk traction suture. Now that capsular hook is providing support to the capsular, capsular rexus and the capsule edge as you dissect out the eye well. Whoa, very interesting idea. You know, I've done a lot of eye well exchanges. I actually don't ever use a traction suture, and I don't use a capsule hook here. But you know what? It's not a bad idea, to be honest, with a capsule hook. I don't think I'll do the traction suture, but still. Now here, the traction suture is good, but the capsule hook is now placed on the other side. So this is a good way of giving you counter-traction. The capsule hook protects and holds the capsule bag in place as you dissect out the eye well. And you can see, beautiful job here, slowly dissecting out that eye well. Now, I know what you're thinking, post your capsule open, so how are you going to put the new lens in? Well, you're obviously going to do a sulcus-based three-piece eye well. Haptics and sulcus, hopefully you get the optic capture through the rexus. Now here is the lens being bisected, cut in half, and then pulled out of the eye. You know, we do have the twist and out procedure. You know, Dr. Fram and I are partners in our surgery center, among other surgeons, and I will have to tell her that, you know, you can do the twist and out technique. Here is a pars plana limited anterior vitrectomy. You can see the trochar there, pars plana, a little bit of trium going inside the eye to stay in the, the vitreous, and... It looks pretty good. So cleaned up pretty nicely here. I like that. Now, when you have a parts plan a port put in, remember, like a retina specialist does, you have to check for entry side breaks. Now, here comes a three piece lens, and it's a silicon lens, and haptic go in the sulcus hopefully soon, and then the optic that's going to go in the rexus or be, you know capture it through the optical um, optic capture method behind the posterior capsule rexus or anterior capsule rexus here. And now let's see, more viscoelastic. It's a nice outcome here. Now the biggest challenge in this case is what? Post off the page is gonna say, but I can't read. Yes, distance vision's better, it's really clear, there's no glare, there's no halos, but I can't read. And you as an ophthalmologist say, well of course, I told you that. You're taking out a trifocal lens, which gave you a, a wide range, we're putting in a monofocal lens here. So here at the end of the case, you can see beautifully done, viscoelastic removal, everything looks great. Check the IOP here, pressure's good, suture of the main incision, very nicely done. Hey, let me tell you about that Cataract Coach podcast, top podcast in all of ophthalmology. You are missing out by not listening. The sole purpose of the podcast is to make you more successful. Okay, have it your way, but I told you so.